Perfect? Bang on my chest if you think I'm perfect. Go ahead, bang on it. No heart? You gotta have heart. Miles and miles of heart. This is Patchwork Heart Ministries Young Catholics Respond, brought to you by Breadbox Media. Now, here's your host, Bill Snyder. Thanks, Adam, and welcome to the program, everybody. I am Bill Snyder. This is Young Catholics Respond, and thank you so very much for being with us and joining us uh, today and supporting our ministry. Uh, Know that each and every time you listen to our podcast, it really, truly does support our ministry. So thank you, and don't forget to share it with a friend. If you want more information about us, always head over to patchworkheart.org and find out more about our ministry. Uh, But I don't want to waste too much time talking about ourselves because I have a wonderful guest. Uh, His name is John Paul Kasparovich, and John uh, is an amazing Catholic singer and songwriter. Uh, He's a husband, he's a father, and uh, he has two wonderful ministries. Uh, His first website is singlehearted.com. He has an amazing ministry. I encourage you to go and check that out. And he also uh, has Big Heart Heart harvest.com, which we're going to talk about today as well. Uh, John, welcome to the program, and thank you so much for being with me here today on Young Catholics Respond to talk about your amazing ministries and uh, and how people can get involved in helping you, uh, you know, in your ministry. So thanks so much. Hey, thanks, Bill. It's good to be with you again. And, uh, you know, I, I love talking to you because you always say my last name correctly, and I think that's awesome. <laughs> Most people don't do that right. But yeah, so it's John Paul Kasparovich, and i uh, like you said, there's two ministries involved. For the last 23, 24 years, I've had a retreat in music ministry. That's singlehearted.com, which you travel to different parishes, different schools, talk to kids, talk to adults. Pretty much I tell people I'll talk to anybody. I don't really care. Um, you know, and involved in that has always been writing music and recording music, singing at mass, singing in adoration, that sort of thing. And, uh, you know, I, that, I've always struggled, honestly, with, you know, being able to promote my own music, not being able to, but wanting to. But now I kind of have a reason to. And the, and the reason is, is the second part of our ministry, which is Big Heart Harvest. And you mentioned that. But what we do is we're actually a small farm that grows food and raises chickens. And we take the produce that we grow and the eggs that we get and we give it away to rescue missions and soup kitchens. So that that's the goal. What does that have to do with the music? Um, well, the music now, I've been able to record a lot of this music, and we're going to be using this music to support that ministry. So now I feel like I have a good reason to really promote it. You know, not that I didn't think I, my music was any good. I think it's, I think God's given it to me, so it's got to be at least good for me. <laughs> anyway, you know, hopefully it'll be good for other people to pray with and stuff like that. So, so it, it's been a journey. Um, we've made a lot of great progress this year. We're growing and, um, it's one of those things that's a real blessing to be able to go to people's homes and take them food who are in need, go to rescue missions and drop off bulks of food, um, and that sort of thing, uh, and just keep doing that. And the cool thing about chickens is they just keep producing. Of course, I think they're on strike right now, but that's beside the point. That's another story. So there we go. <laughs> you know, no, it's it's an amazing mission, especially with Big Heart Harvest and, and just how uh, the the concept – of of donating and uh, and living off the land a little bit, you also uh, will teach people too how to uh, farm as well, right? As part of this ministry, you'll teach people how to how to uh, you know create their own sustainable farm as well, right? Yeah, exactly. So we have three goals when it comes to Big Heart Harvest. One is feeding the hungry. Uh, two is uh, educating people, like you said, on how to actually do something for themselves when it comes to just growing something. And and the third part of that is empowering because we think that through educating people and how to grow things, we're empowering them to be able to take care of themselves, even just a little bit. There's, there's a lot of gratification and satisfaction in, in actually being able to grow a tomato, pick it off the vine and just put it into your salad, you know? Uh, and, and it, people don't understand until they do it for the first time. And they like, they, they think for themselves, Wow, I did that, you know, and it's really how God created us to be, right? You know, from the very beginning, you know, from the very fall of man, Adam and Eve, what did God say, you know, you know, through the thorns and the thistles, you know, we're going to get our, uh, you know, we're going to have to provide for ourselves, you know, um, and that sounds kind of dramatic, but, you know, you just put a plant in a pot and watch it grow and pick off of it. It's kind of cool, you know, so in one way, yeah, maybe it was a curse, but another way, it's a blessing, it's a blessing to cooperate with how God does things, so it's really cool. 
Yeah, awesome, and and uh, yeah, that's it's just an amazing uh, concept, and uh, and and one I think a lot of people can get behind, especially in today's uh, world. Uh, again, the website is very simple; it's just bigheartharvest.com. And uh, John, I know you want to share with us some of your music today as well. Uh, and so, do you want to do you want to maybe tease one of these songs, and we'll uh, and we'll play it for our uh, our listeners here? Sure. Yeah. This uh, the first song we're going to show is off an album that's coming out on November 6th. Actually, we're going to have a, uh, a triple release of three different albums on November 6th that are going to support this Big Heart Harvest ministry. The first album, uh, this song is from, it's the title track, it's called Without Your Love. I wrote this song as really as a song of intercession. And the reason I say that is because there's different people that I specifically pray for in this song um, not not by name, but in general, you know, really quick, the first people I pray for are people who aren't close to God. Second people I pray for, I pray for unborn children. I pray for um, unwed mothers. I pray for veterans and also homeless people in this song. And, and in that way, I feel that God has called me to not only provide for a person physically through Big Heart Harvest, but also to be praying for them spiritually, you know, I believe in a very balanced ministry. So that's kind of what inspired this song. But that can't happen without God's love, and that's the point of this song. All right, folks, we'll take a listen to Without Your Love right now. Look around the world today, everything's a tragedy, as our culture cries out for unholy pageantry. I found it hard to sleep at night, tossed and turned in dreams I fight, so many questions, so little answers. can't save them on my own I can't put out these fires burning out of control without your love so I'll sing it all alone and I'll sing it with the choir sing a song about your love that saved my soul About the selfish plan turns into a one night stand, and the child that cries out, I'm not worth it. I think about the homeless man on the streets of the promised land, and the warrior who cries out, I can't take these nightmares. Can't save them on my own Can't put up these fires Burning out of control Without your love So I'll sing it all alone And I'll sing it with the choir Sing a song about your love That saved my soul Without your love 
united with the choir Sing a song about your love That saves my soul Can't save them on my own I can't put out these fires Burning out of control Without your love So I'll sing it all alone Or I'll sing it with the choir Sing a song about your love That saved my soul Folks, uh, that was... Uh, Without Your Love by John Paul Kasparovich, and uh, we are uh, talking with him today on Young Catholics Respond about his amazing ministry. Uh, John, that's just a beautiful song. I think it's so relevant for our times today, too, right? I mean, this is so uh, needed. I mean, the message of that song, uh, if we can live it in our in, in our culture and in our time today, man, the world would change, wouldn't it? Yeah, you know, I, I always think like that. You know, I try to think you know, could you imagine if every Catholic, and this is good for young people to hear, if every single Catholic who claims to be Catholic lived to be Catholic, our world would change overnight, right? <laughs> it, it just would. And if they just lived with the power of the Holy Spirit that they have inside of them, you know, I, I wouldn't need to sing that song, right? <laughs> <laughs> and the, point, the point is, is that we, we, we can't do it on our own, but we, we not only need God's love, but we need each other to live our faith. And really reach out and pray for each other and pray for those who are lost. Pray for those who don't know God. Pray for those who are struggling. Pray for those who know God but then have fallen short. You know, Maybe they made a mistake. Maybe they messed up somewhere. Uh, maybe they've had bad experiences in their life that they're struggling with. But God can free them from that. You know, so so that's really what that song is all about. And and if we again, I, I like what you just said. If we just live that, man, it would be be great. <laughs> kind of like <laughs> yeah. the Beatitudes. If we could live the Beatitudes, we'd be golden. <laughs> I know, I know. It's so hard, but it's but it's uh, and that's the reason why we need the the inspirational music as well. Uh, you know, because it does help us, us, you know, be uplifted in our faith. It helps us grow in our faith. Um, and uh, and and so thank you for you know taking that on. Uh, I we I, I do want to just take a short break here, uh, as it's just about time to do that. So we're gonna uh, take a short break here on Young Catholics Respond. But when we come back, uh, we're we're gonna continue our conversation with you because you have so much to share with us. You have such an amazing ministry. So right back after these messages here on Young Catholics Respond. The St. Raymond Nonatus Foundation for Freedom, Family, and Faith offers prayerful accompaniment for those who are affected by divorce and separation. We offer free online support meetings for those affected by divorce and for adult children of divorce. You can learn more about us at nonatus.org. That's N-O-N-N-A-T-U-S dot org. Text or call 215-870-9913. Patchwork Heart Ministry is committed to sowing hope into broken hearts by helping young people encounter the love of Jesus Christ and His Catholic Church through prayer, storytelling, and media initiatives. We invite you to prayerfully consider supporting this mission financially. Mail your tax-deductible donation to Patchwork Heart Ministry at P.O. Box 563, Lake Geneva, Wisconsin, zip code 53147. Or visit patchworkheart.org to donate online. That's Patchwork Heart Ministry, P.O. Box 563, Lake Geneva, Wisconsin, 53147, or online at patchworkheart.org. Patchwork Heart Ministry and Fiat Ministry Network present Hear Your Faith, a brand new audio subscription service that features a growing collection of uplifting Catholic audio choruses talks, and other exclusive content to help you grow deeper in your faith and knowledge of Catholicism. Subscribe today at patreon.com slash patchworkheartministry. At times it seems like the world today is filled with so much division, bigotry, and hatred. So it's up to us to make sure that we get back to the basics, and that is Jesus Christ and his message of faith, hope, and love. Faith, Hope, Love with John and Morgan Bender is a new project that seeks to do just that by engaging and inspiring Catholics within the Archdiocese of Milwaukee and beyond. 
read personal faith stories, interviews, and news, all by visiting the Faith, Hope, and Love blog dot blogspot dot com, or follow us on Twitter at Johnny Bender MKE. Your heart is always beating, but you never have to think about it. Welcome back to Young Catholics Respond. Once again, Bill Snyder. Hey everybody, welcome back here to Young Catholics Respond. I'm Bill Snyder. Uh, today my guest is John Paul Kasparovich, and uh, John is uh, a singer, songwriter, husband, father, has an amazing ministry, uh, Catholic ministry. I want you to go to his websites and check it out. Uh, very, very uh, cool is singlehearted.com. He has an amazing ministry there. And then also uh, we're, another one we're talking about today is Big Heart Harvest. Dot com and uh, it, they're they're amazing ministries. But uh, John, I wanted to talk with you a little bit about your journey of faith uh, as well, because you know, I mean, I mean, you're doing so much for the Lord. You're you know, you're uh, farming for the Lord. You're teaching people. Uh, you're 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 doing uh, you know sp- you know speaking events and and music and all these things. How how did the Lord call you? You know what what is that what is that awesome journey that you have with the Lord? Yeah. Um... We, we'd need like uh, 13 hours, you know, for that. But uh, here, here's the, in a nutshell, you know, I actually wasn't raised Catholic. Um, my parents had us baptized when we were four. Uh, I think that was to my, for my grandparents uh, to push that. But, um, you know, we didn't really pray a lot together. We didn't go to church really together, except once a year we went to Christmas mass. Well, actually it wasn't mass. It was at a non-denominational church. But, um, but the point is I wasn't raised. I wasn't until I was about 19 that I really started reading the Bible. And, uh, you know, I had a lot of family trauma, a lot of family problems in, in, in life, you know, that caused me to be kind of an angry kid, you know, but it was really through reading the Bible and find out who Jesus is and, and that Jesus is God and that Jesus died on the cross for me. And, and really th- to understand that my value in that sacrifice and it led me to understand that I didn't have to walk around angry all the time about things that had happened with my family. My family was divorced when I was young and that sort of thing, you know, going back and forth between mom and dads and brothers and sisters issues and all that kind of stuff. I didn't need to dwell on that. I could be freed from that through Jesus's death on the cross. And when I realized that and realized who Jesus was and my value in his sacrifice, that's when everything started to change. I'm not saying I like became this extreme Christian. It took a long time. You know, I, at that time in my life at 19 years old, I was still in a heavy metal band. I was rocking out, you know, uh, playing things like Metallica, Anthrax, all kinds of stuff like that. And yeah, but, I, but in that time period of my life, even though I was still doing those, I was learning more and more and more. And the Lord was drawing me closer and closer and closer until um, when I was 26 years old, I actually got confirmed as a Catholic. And uh, then I just dove head in, man. And, and I, I took a lot of things. And one of my prayers was at the time, uh, really quick was that I had all these instruments and stuff like this from the heavy metal days. And I, I, I gave it all up and I told the Lord, you know what, I'm not going to do this if it's not what you want me to do. So I actually sold all my equipment. I sold everything. And I, I, I said to the Lord, if you want me to do this, if you want me to sing for you, I will do that. But you got to get it all back. And, uh, it, you know, I didn't get all of it back, which is fine. But I got what I needed to do what the Lord wants me to do now, and, and that is to sing for him and to, to farm for him and, and to really kind of preach for him and live my life for him. And it's just got to be all-encompassing. So, I mean, that's it in a nutshell. But I'm an all-in guy, you know. So once I really felt the Lord tugging my heart, I just dove in. You know, Jesus said, when you put your hands to the plow, you don't look back. And I understand that being a farmer, because if you look back, you're going to trip, fall, and, and that's the end of you. You know, but the point Jesus was making, like, you got to look at a, what's ahead of you. And and I figured that's the way I got to live my my faith yeah, you know, and going forward. That's so beautiful. It really is a beautiful journey. And for, and, and, and for young people to realize that they don't always necessarily have to have every piece of it figured out, uh, I, you know, of, of of the journey ahead of time. I think, you know, that's one of the big downfalls in in society. I have to have everything all planned out, everything all figured out, and when it doesn't go according to my plan, then I get upset and I get angry and mm-hmm. I get and I get worried. But, you know, your story is a good reminder for for young people that, you know what, it doesn't have to be this perfect, you know, um, journey, but man, when you jump in, when you finally realize, "All right, I am going to say yes." Then, then you don't look back, you know. Then you don't look back, and you don't worry about the past. You don't worry about all of those little things that, 
uh, can uh, can can derail you because you're focused on the the goal of the kingdom, and that and that's amazing. And, and and you can see what the Lord has done through your ministry with all its many different facets. Uh, you know, the speaking, the music, and also the 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 farming. And so it, it's amazing to see what God can do with that simple. Yes, that powerful yes, but that simple yeah. yes. Uh, so that's awesome. Uh, I want to I want to ask you a little bit. I know we got another couple songs that we're going to play uh, today on the program, and I want to ask you uh, to, to to tell us about uh, Psalm three, if you would, as we get ready to, get ready to play. Yeah, sure. This so this this the second album that's coming out on November sixth. And by the way, you, anybody can get them anywhere on November sixth. They'll be on Apple Music, Amazon Music, Spotify, you know, iHeart Music, whatever. You can actually go on Amazon Demand and get the CD from Amazon, that sort of thing. So any one of those platforms, you can get them. But all all that goes towards our farming ministry. But the second album is is the first ten Psalms in the Bible. Uh, when I started reading the Bible, the Psalms were a big influence on my life. My favorite is number one because it just encompasses all the rest as far as i'm concerned but i chose to show you guys number three today because it shows these struggles that people go through um in their lives but yet the lord is the one who saves the lord is the one who really kind of gets us out of those things that's why i chose this one but if you want to read the bible and you want to learn the bible here's an opportunity for anybody listening right now if you purchase this album these are almost word for word from the bible with the exception of the choruses and the re- and and the refrains and uh it's a great way to just learn just listen to the music hopefully it inspires you and you can listen to it again and again and again until you got the psalm and the words in your head and just boom there you go you just Learn 10 Psalms of the Bible. Yeah. That's the point. And we're going to keep going, actually. My goal is actually 150 Psalms one of these days to get them all done. <laughs> wow. So that's a big goal. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Well, here is Psalm 3, folks. Uh, so here we are. How many are my foes, Lord? How many rise against me? How many say of me there is no salvation for him in God? But you, Lord, are a shield around me. My glory, you keep my head high. With my own voice, I will call upon the Lord. He will answer me from his holy mountain. You are my shield. You are my glory, and you keep my head high. You are my shield, you are my glory, and you keep my head high. I lie down and I fall asleep. I will wake up for the Lord sustains me. I do not fear that thousands of people arrayed against me on every side. Arise, Lord, save me, my God, for you strike my foes cheap bone. You break the teeth of the wicked, salvation is from the Lord. May your blessing be upon your people. You are my shield, you are my glory, and you keep my head high. You are my shield, you are my glory, and you keep my head high. You are my shield, you are my glory, and you keep my head high. You are my shield, you are my glory, and you keep my head high. And again, that was Psalm three by John Paul Kasparovich. And uh, John, again, you know, just what a what a great message for uh, for young people to realize that God is their shield and He's going to keep Amen. their head high. What a beautiful, what a beautiful. Um, and well, what's it, it, the Bible? All right, it's the Word of yeah, God. Yeah, but wait, wait, see, <laughs> see, this is this is what's really cool about this album is that. Uh, you know, we, we can sit back and say, oh, you know, those are beautiful lyrics. I didn't write them. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't write them, you know. And, and, and that's the cool thing is, is, is to me, doing this album, it kind of gives a new spin on um, 
something that's so ancient and God's thoughts, you know, and, 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 and God's inspiration through the Bible. And what I like about that is, is that, you know, when you read the Psalms, just read them. That's nice. But Psalm means song. You know, it's meant to be sung. Now, we, we can only speculate how they sung it, you know, but my, my thought is, OK, well, let's just let's just put a little bit of a modern feel to it and see how it goes. And, uh, you know, hopefully people will be inspired to just keep singing the psalm for the sake that it's the word of God. That's that's what I'm, what I'm hoping. So and, and, and again, people can do that by you know downloading them. Um, I should mention to people that the reason why we're trying to raise money for our farm is that it is our on the land that we rent for our farm is actually up for sale. So we're, we're trying to actually save the farm, believe it or not, um, because we want to continue this ministry. So the, the funds that go from these albums, you can buy one of the albums, you can buy two, you can buy all three of the albums or you can download individual songs. But all that goes into a fund to, to purchase this land to keep feeding the poor. So that's the goal. Wow. And, you know, that's that is such a uh, great, great mission. Uh, so, folks, if you can get behind this uh, and again, it, it, it's as simple as going to uh, your favorite streaming uh, service or your favorite download service uh, on Amazon, Apple, Google, uh, anywhere music can be found and and just searching for you, you want to give us the names of the albums, uh, John, so that the people can just quickly search for these. Yeah, absolutely. So the, the easiest way is to search for under my name, John Paul Kasparovich, but that's a big last name, K-A-S-P-E-R-O-W-I-C-Z. But then also the first album is called Without Your Love. A second album with the Psalms is called Rise Up. Um, and the reason why is a couple of the Psalms have that in the first 10, they kind of have that theme of rising up. And then the third album is actually an album that I did about 20 years ago that I'm re-releasing. It's called Let Us Pray. And, uh, you know, there's a, that's a lot of full music and stuff like that, not just acoustical stuff. And uh, I should also say that on Without Your Love, you might be interested because there's a couple songs on there that don't sound like just acoustic stuff. I, there's a song I put on there that I did actually for the Archdiocese of Philadelphia about 15 years ago. It was a theme song for one of their youth rallies. Um, but it brings me back to my heavy metal days. So you got to check that out. You know, it's got a kind of a rocker feel to it. And then there's another song on there uh, called The Walls of Jericho that is a, a kind of also in that full band um, genre there. So it, it, it has a different feel. So you got some acoustic songs on there, but then you also got uh, my, my rocker side coming out, you know, and that's a good thing. <laughs> Sometimes you never lose that rocker side, right? <laughs> nah, man. You lose the hair, but you don't lose the feel. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, folks, uh, I really want to encourage you to visit uh, Big Heart Harvest as well because, uh, you know, the donations that uh, you would you would make to, to that uh, are, are wonderful as well. So, of course, the music, but if you're of uh, a financial uh, position to to be able to make a larger donation, uh, simply go to BigHeartHarvest.com, and there's a donate button right there on the lower right uh, side of the uh, page there. So please uh, go ahead and just, or lower left, excuse me. Uh, so go ahead and just head over again. It's BigHeartHarvest.com. And uh, John Paul, thank you so much for uh, being with us today. This has been so much fun, and I hope you come back and share more of your music and more of your story with us. Uh, but uh, it's been such a pleasure today. Thank you so very much uh, for, for being here. Thanks, Bill, for having me, man. I really appreciate the opportunity, and uh, you know, I'm praying for your ministry and what you do and getting the word out, uh, the gospel message over media. It's, it's so much needed in our world today, and we need more of it. And, you know, the funny thing is the more people that do what you do, the more hearts will be changed because that's, I just believe that like if St. Paul had the opportunity to use the media that you're using right now, I think he would use it. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. Well, folks, uh, we really appreciate you tuning in as always. Uh, again, head over to our website, uh, patchworkheart.org. If you missed uh, any of what we were talking about, uh, know that you can always listen to this again. Uh, and uh, we thank you so much for being a part of our ministry. We want to thank John Paul Kasparovich for his wonderful ministry and being with us today once more. But until next time, keep beating to your Catholic heart and sowing hope into broken hearts. You've been listening to Young Catholics Respond, a radio initiative of Patchwork Heart Ministry. To learn more about our ministry and program, visit us at patchworkheart.org. Or to get exclusive access and early ministry updates, become our patron on Patreon by searching for Patchwork Heart Ministry.